Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I know. It's like almost four o'clock. Today was a very busy day, but oh my God, you guys, it is beautiful here. So today started off as normal. Got up, had my coffee at seven o'clock. Um, then I was at the vets by nine to get Ray and Honey their five way for with West Nile for the summer, for this year. So they're all done. Epic's already done. She got hers done a couple weeks ago when I was at, um, when I went to see Ty. Um, so yeah, so she's done. Now it's just, it was their turn. Then after that, I went and I rode at Jewel's place. Oh my God, I have not seen her or talked to her in so, so, so long. And it was so nice to be able to go and ride in an actual outdoor arena that's enclosed. My, where I ride right now is not enclosed and it's not really an arena. I could ride in our corral, but it's pretty crappy in there. Like it's so deep and it's so mushy and it's still wet. And I was going to, anyway, not doing it. So yeah, I had a really good ride. Actually, I rode Ray the longest today. Weird, right? I probably rode Ray for an hour. Not hard. No. Walking, trotting, talking. <laughs> Yes, me talking? Oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> and then I actually, I loped him, you know, both ways and we just did it nice and slow. He was amazing. He feels so good. I think he's feeling better. He's not going back barrel racing though. No, he's, there's just too much going on with him, but he just feels, it feels nice to be able to actually ride him and feel good on him and him not feel stiff and sore and stressed. He was smooth and everything. And then I rode Honey for about, only for about 20 minutes, but that's okay because for her, I'm taking my time. She just wants to run now though. Holy man. I said, well, you know what? Maybe next week. Because on Sunday, oh, I'm so excited. I get Epic back on Sunday. I'm going to go out and take my own saddle, because I'm taking my trailer. Take my saddle, take everything that I need, and I'm going to go ride Epic before I bring her home on Sunday. So she's coming home. Woo! Five weeks away, and oh my God, I love her. You guys, when you see the videos of her, um, you will understand. I am turning into quite the mare person. Hopefully, guys, the wind isn't too much on here because it just picked up all of a sudden again. But, uh, yeah, and I just got home probably, I don't know, an hour ago and went and fed and everything. And we had another calf born in. She kind of snuck into the 20 acres that we have um, yesterday morning. So, and she was pacing the fence. So Randy knew she was going to calve. And sure enough, last night when we went out to check, she had calved. But they said when they found her this morning to move her and the calf into the corral with the other crazy one, um, the calf didn't look very good. It do, They don't even think it sucked on the mom. And it's so tiny. So they brought it in, they tubed it, and I went and I kind of checked on it. I ain't going back there because the crazy witch is back there. She's bad. Like, she is like Looney Tunes. You don't want to get too close. Randy's brother this morning, when they were, they had to put her in the chute to um, give her some Micotel and some Medicam because she's got mastitis and all four quarters. So she's doing nothing. There's nothing but blood coming out of her, her teats. So we have to bottle feed that baby. Yeah, we got another bottle baby. But this one, they put her in there and she's still... She's standing up and she's trying to move, but for being 24 hours old, she's not moving very well. So we don't know if we're going to lose her, but you know what, if, if we do, because that other one, she's going, the other mom, because she's just too wild and she's, she can't feed her baby anyway. So we can't like, what, what's the use in keeping her, right? Um, so if this little one does die, then, um then the other one will just put her on, give her the other one because she really wants to be a mom and she's calling her baby and her baby just doesn't want to come. I don't know. It kind of, it stands up and it moves a few feet and then it lays down and it's just, I don't know. It looks weak. They, um, they said she was, you know, when they found her this morning, they tubed her first thing, which I already said, 
And then um, I think Randy gave her another bottle not too long ago before he went to um, finish at a neighbor's place. They were they seated and then he had to go roll. So I think that's what he was doing is they had they had just finished giving the baby more. So um, I'm just waiting for Randy to come home. Then we're going to go check and see how many more babies. So yesterday or this morning they tagged nine, which you know what? the way it's going we only have a hundred we had 139 to start with and I think we're already at almost 80 so we are way over halfway and we just started like two and a half weeks ago so we could be done hopefully I know there's always stragglers at the end hopefully sooner than later maybe in the middle of May instead of the middle of June I don't know there's here's wishful thinking right um, but everything else, you know, like everything else is going good out here. We're seeding like crazy though. Yep. We started, we're seeding. We're starting to get stuff ready. Um, they finished seeding Kelly's place yesterday. Then, um, they moved the equipment over to Neil's place and then, um, they're going to, um, Randy's just there. Actually, like I said, he's just there rolling and then he's coming home and tomorrow they're going to seed um up top where our hayfield was they got rid of uh i think they they broke up probably i'm going to say half of it they did between the rows so yeah so he's doing that and they're going to seed that then we have to seed up by the gravel pit just a little bit we're seeding it back to grass so yeah, not going to have much green feed anymore, which is kind of nice. There's still a few fields of it, but they're not going to have hardly anything. It's going to be mostly pasture because, you know, with us getting rid of the cows, why do we need all the hay, all the green feed, right? I mean, we could sell it, but um, yeah. So and other than that, I'm actually going to go in, make some supper because I have, all I've eaten today, you guys, is my protein shake. And I bought these little packages. It's kind of cool in Superstore, in the freezer section now, you guys. If you guys are into protein shakes, um, like I am, all of a sudden I'm really into them. They have these frozen pouches that, like the in the fruit section, in the frozen fruit bag section. There's stuff in there. It's like healthy energy and healthy, I can't remember what the other one was, something. But they're separate bags. They've got all of the fruits in it, frozen, including spinach and green peas and all that other stuff. It's individually bagged inside, which I didn't know until I started it yesterday, until I put one in yesterday. All you have to do is open the bag and dump it in. And I'm using apple juice now instead of milk, which means I got to stop buying so much milk. <laughs> so yeah. And oh my God, you guys. It is so amazing. It's so, 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 so good. So if you ever see those in the, in the freezer section where the frozen berries are in Superstore, I know for sure they're at Superstore because that's where I bought them. You guys got to try them. If you guys like protein shakes, you've got to try this stuff. So I'm still going to drink the other one. And all I do is I throw that in with the apple juice and a little bit of water and my, um, my one scoop of our whey protein powder. I have to add a little bit more apple juice than it says because with the protein powder in there, it makes it really thick, like a real, it's, it's actually good if I'm just sitting here at home to drink it. It's like a really nice, thick, fruity milkshake. Oh, it's so good. But uh, yeah, so that's all I've eaten today, which is okay because COVID-25 happened. <laughs> that's what I told my doctor the other day. I said, yep, I got COVID-25. They went, what? I said, yeah, I lost 14 pounds and gained a betcha that back plus eight. So yeah, I think since the start of COVID, I've gained 25 pounds up and down. But yeah, I lost all that weight, you guys. And then I stopped taking my protein. I stopped taking my protein, my protein powder, because I ran out. And because I, I just forgot. I was forgetting about it in the morning because we were busy. And I gained my weight back, <laughs> plus four pounds. So don't do that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> now it's every day, every, 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 every day. I am not missing a day. And I have not weighed myself since I went to the doctor 
on Tuesday. I have not weighed myself. I refuse to weigh myself because I was in tears when I got out of there. <laughs> I was like, oh no, yeah, I can see my double chin again. Yeah, it's not good, but I'm getting it. I'm going to get back on track um, because the season is starting. And um, once Epic gets home here, I'm going to start going riding with um, with Jules a little more at her place because I can, I seem to be able to get more, like when I'm riding with her, she's behind me and we're getting more tips and I'm going to ride, continue to ride with Nikki too, as much as I can. Um, and yeah, Jules just kind of rides by herself. So I figured, you know what, she's got an arena there. She's got a nice outdoor that's, that's done. Why not go and ride with her? I love her. She's such a great friend. And, um, hopefully one day I'll get over to Kareen's again and ride. Um, oh, Keely, if you're what Keeling Dur Dursaf, if you're watching this, I was going to give Jules your halter today, and guess what? I forgot. I do have it. It's been in my truck for about a month. So, yeah. Um, message me, and I will be at Jules next week, and I will let I will leave it there, or I'll just message you after this, and I will leave it at Jules' house, since she seems to see you more than I do. So, um, anyway, on that note, I don't know if you can hear that cow. Oh, now she shuts up right? Now she shuts up. Anyway, that's the, the new mama because we've got them in the corral. That's the new mama trying to get her baby to come with her and she won't. She's just kind of sitting against the fence behind the barn and she's, she won't hardly get up. So we're going to have to see what we can do about her. I don't know what to do. This year, I'm telling you, you guys, and it's not just us. We've heard of a lot of people that are having calving issues this year between the coyotes and just the babies are just weird this year. Like for some reason, the babies and the, the moms are crazy. And I think the moms are crazy because of the coyotes. I don't think, I know. Because when the coyotes are around, they're all on high alert. They're all, they're all stressed about everything. So that's why they're all kind of a little bit nuts um yeah so i feel bad for them but what are you gonna do right what are you gonna do so anyway i am gonna we're gonna go out as soon as randy gets back he should be home here pretty soon he was just finishing rolling at neil's and then he said he would come home and we have to go pick up the bale truck and then we're gonna go out and check and see how many more babies are are out there that were born today hopefully we'll get another nine or ten because they haven't checked since this morning so you guys have a fantastic day enjoy this beautiful thursday i didn't think it was going to end up as nice as it did when i went into town this morning it was pretty cloudy to the west and it was a little chilly i had two jack i had a sweater and a jacket on over top till i got to town and there was no wind no nothing it's 22 degrees here right now you guys it's sunshine. Yay. Yay. Sunshine and warmth. We can actually get some vitamin D again. By the way, vitamin D and um, zinc. Take a lot of that. Take a lot of that, you guys. It's really good for you. Yeah, that's what we've been hearing. Um, so that's why we take the vitamins and stuff that we do. Our daily wellness that we have has zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, elderberry, and fermented yeast in it. So guess what? We take that every single day. And we also take extra, in the winter, we take extra vitamin D on top of it. So just to stay healthy, right? I mean, who doesn't want to be healthy all the time? Um, so on that note, I'm getting off of here. <laughs> I'm getting off of here finally. Can you believe it? So you guys, smile and the world smiles with you. Be grateful for something. I'm grateful for this beautiful weather right now. Oh my God, it's so nice. There's a bit of a breeze, but who cares, right? The sun is shining, the birds are singing, everything's out playing. So you guys take care. God bless. Ciao for now. Talk to you tomorrow.